According to reports, the Giants have agreed to a deal with veteran offensive lineman John Feliciano pending a physical. Hello, everybody. Joined by Paul Dettino. I am John Schmelk. And Paul, the Giants getting a very versatile player in John Feliciano that obviously has a lot of connections to the Giants' new front office and coaching staff. Well, you're talking about somebody who spent the last three years with the Bills during the course of that time, Loud, uh, only a combined four sacks, has played some left guard, some right guard, and some center in the NFL. Because remember, before he got to the Bills, he spent four years with the Raiders uh, out of Miami, you know, was, was drafted by the Raiders on the fourth round, 6'4", 325, we're talking about a guy who, by the way, during the last three years with Buffalo, did not allow a sack in the postseason. And I say that because the winning experience that a guy like this can bring to the Giants locker room is going to be an added bonus. We had extended conversation about him on a prior uh, Giants Huddle podcast with Brandon Thorne. And Brandon, who does a great job scouting the offensive line, called him a tone setter, one of those tough guys that's going to be middle of the line and set the tone and be a little nasty, a guy that likes to run block. So it's always good to have blue collar guys like that, Paul, on the interior of your offensive line. Well, and a guy who, although there was a concussion at one point last year and there was a small bout with COVID, he did start 31 games during his tenure in Buffalo, had three other appearances where he came in as a reserve, but did show a lot of toughness, as you mentioned. Look, you've got to be tough if you're going to play offensive line for the Bills. And we know that Brian Dayball knows a lot about him, and so does offensive line coach Bobby Johnson. After all, he was in the trenches with him every single week. Yeah, played a full 16-game slate three years ago. The last two years, 18 games combined in his career, 39 starts. And, Paul, what I really like about him, in the last three seasons, he played all three of those offensive line positions mm-hmm. you mentioned. This is not stuff far in his past, right? Just in his last three years, over 1,500 snaps at right guard, over 700 snaps at left guard, and over 300 snaps at center. You mentioned the stats over the last three years. Well, in the last two years, he did not allow a sack. That's a really good player to have on your roster with that multiple position flexibility as the Giants continue to try to fill out this offensive line. Well, he's clearly a smart player. You don't play as long as he has at three different positions without understanding what it is that you have to do at each one of them. So I love the fact that they're getting a guy who's crafty and wily and is going to be able to bring a lot of experience and maturity to the line. And again, if he ends up being the center, Paul, and we'll see, knowledge of Dable's system, leadership, veteran, that's exactly the type of guy you want at that center position to try to bring that line together. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that he will be doing a lot of coaching up on behalf of Coach Dable and Coach Johnson with as many of his teammates as he can catch an ear with. Continue to stay tuned to the Giants social media platforms, Giants.com, and of course the Giants mobile app as we continue to cover the Giants and the moves that they make in free agency. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.